Hello everyone. So today we'll be building this lovely little kit. This is the 172nd scale British Aerospace Systems Hawk and I will be building it as a Hawk Mark 132 of the Indian Air Force. As you can see here on the left side, the standard Airfix box packaging and it shows you that you can uh, build three schemes out of it. So as we open the uh, box, we are greeted with a glossy, shiny decal sheet for the uh, three schemes. So two of them are from the Royal Air Force and one of them is from the Indian Air Force. So the sprues, four of them, they all come packed in a single plastic bag. This is followed by an instruction sheet, which is the standard Airfix black and white instruction sheet with the uh, exploded diagrams of about 12 steps in total for assembly. Followed by this decal sheet, which is of course for the Royal Air Force aerobatic team and I won't be using them because of course I'll be building an Indian Air Force one. And here are the decals for the Indian Air Force scheme. You can see some common decals as well. So these are very, very nicely printed and I'll be using the uh, markings from this decal sheet. Right, so then I began the main assembly of the kit starting with the cockpit floor and as you can see the bulkhead literally snaps fits into the uh, cockpit floor. The seats then follow suit and they are very snug fit. Another good part about this kit is that it comes with these two pilot figures which have a fair amount of detail on them and this is a nice addition to the kit since I will be building mine in flight both the pilots will be used. After painting the instrument panel black I applied the decals and here you can see one little issue that I faced. The size of the instrument panel is much much bigger than the decals or should I say vice versa that the decals are much smaller. However, this is a compounding problem as you will see as we progress through the build. And here's what I was talking about this uh, instrument panel in fact both the front and the rear ones required a lot of sanding down to be able to fit them in the nose section of the uh, aircraft After drilling the uh, holes for the attachment of the weapons, I fitted the wing, upper and lower surfaces and these were pretty nice fits and went together without a hitch.
the fit of the rear section of the fuselage behind the rear cockpit was not the best ones i had to do a lot of trimming of the rear cockpit bulkhead in order to make that part fit together the rest of the build went on pretty smooth it was just a matter of attaching the parts together as is common with airfix kits it needed a lot of filling along the seam lines here you can see along the nose along the rear cockpit section all along the three sides of the rear cockpit section moving down below you see right there starting from the nose right up to the middle of the fuselage and then the connection of the wings and the air brakes all these needed some filling nothing that couldn't be addressed i filled in with tamiya gray putty and then sanded them smooth and you can see that it's given a good body look to the overall uh, aircraft and then i attached the drop tanks and the hard points and the smaller bits and bobs here and there and got it ready for painting After priming it, I used Abro Matte Light Grey, which is number 89, and this grey is exactly the one that is used on the Indian Air Force ones. It gives a very nice matte finish, as you can see here, and the uh, overall coverage is also good. And I used this uh, spray can and sprayed about two to three coats to get a nice even finish of the paint. On the body of the aircraft I then used febicryl black to paint up the uh, smaller bits and bobs like the uh, various antennae the pit or tube and then I used my silver paint pen to highlight the front of the uh, electronic countermeasures jammer. And then finally, after the paint had dried up, I used Future and brush painted it all across the body of the model. I then used my standard procedure of applying the decals with watered down PVA glue at the place where the decals would go and then dipped the decals in uh, lukewarm water for about 30 seconds. Once the decals had softened up, I removed them from the water and slid the decals in their position and then used a cotton Q-tip to remove the excess water and then seal the decals with another gloss coat. The uh, serial numbers were printed at home and finally the pilots that were painted up earlier were fitted in the cockpits in their respective positions. The one with the green flight suit in the front and the one with the orange one as the instructor in the rear one. The rear instructor needed a little bit of wiggling around to get into the seat. And finally, with the canopy in place, I call this build completed. <laughs> 